Here in video 7 we will create some line charts to track our stock prices through time. It'll look similar to this one. This one has minimal formatting. You will have the chance to do five different line charts using different stocks of your choice from the 20. You will have the chance to do five different formatted charts using the share prices that we've been using for the last few weeks. So what we have here, just to give you an overview, the title indicates the company. I've done a line chart for the share price of Apple for selected dates. So here's the acquisition price a year ago when I purchased that stock. And then we're showing over the time that we recorded the stock price during that first, second week of January, how things have changed. And so we have somewhat of a steady increase and a significant increase from the previous year. And then I have the price per share here on the y-axis and the selected dates on the x-axis. And then I've used one of the options that provides me with these grid lines to make it a little easier to read the chart. Here's a quick overview of how to create a line chart. I'll go back to my stock worksheet. And what you can do is go through and make a selection of the ones that you want to graph. But go ahead and just pick one of these. And so I'll go ahead and pick one that has a loss here. Let's see what this is. Boeing. So I will choose Boeing, one of the stocks that has lost money over the last year. And so the first step is to select the values that you want to graph. And so that's going to be this right here, the initial share price. Now because the next share prices are non-contiguous, meaning that there's some information in between, I have to hold down the control key and then select the remaining share prices that I want to graph because I don't want to graph that value there. Insert, chart, line chart, and then I'll make that a little larger to work with. Now I can go ahead and start doing some formatting. And so what I will do is just to save some time is go ahead and go up to the quick layout. And I'm going to choose option 7. I notice that it doesn't give me a title here, but I can go ahead and format that. So I'll do that first. Add chart element. Chart title above chart. I'll double click within that. Boeing stock price for selected dates. My y-axis title is going to be stock price. This will be my selected dates. And then the last step I need to change the x-axis data labels here to reflect the appropriate dates. My date of purchase one year ago was January 9th, 2019. And then the other dates are here, so once again, we will have to use that control key to select these non-contiguous cells. Select data. Edit. And then we want to select that range of data. So I need to click on the first date, January 9th. Hold down that control key. And then select these other dates. We can also edit the series data here. And then we can call that the Boeing stock price. And that puts that in for our legend. And we can choose to keep that or not because our title indicates that the line does refer to Boeing stock and we only have one line so a legend not necessary but you can keep that if you like. And then the last step is to move the chart to its own location, a new sheet. Boeing stock prices. You click OK. And there we have it. So your assignment is to go ahead and do this for five of your stocks and make each line chart look a little different. You've got lots of options as you can see up here. 
And so pick five different ones and then have me come by and take a look at those five different companies, five different line charts.